What is ChicagoTalks.org and where did it come from? Let's find out. Today everyone has heard of citizen journalism. Everyone goes online for news. Everyone has seen hyper-local news about a neighborhood or a community. And even if you've never heard the term place blog, you probably know what one is. American news organizations were slow to embrace the internet. But in 2004, South Korea's Oh My News went online with a staff of four paid editors, 727 citizen reporters, and 64,000 readers. By 2009, they had 70,000 citizen reporters, 2.5 million page views a day, and revenues of $6 million. Professor Iverson, a pioneer blogger and multimedia producer was looking to put news online in Chicago in 2005 and an invitation to the International Citizen Journalism Forum sponsored by Oh My News in Seoul was her springboard. Iverson learned about do-it-yourself content management systems like Joomla, Drupal, and WordPress. Back in Chicago, she got to work with Professor Suzanne McBride creating a community and citizen news website the first version, Creating Community Connections, went online in 2006. It's evolved into Chicago Talks with support from Columbia College, JLab, and the Knight News Foundation. Chicago Talks is an ideal kind of learning by doing for young reporters. It evolves with the technology and times to stay current. There are opportunities to learn about the publishing side of things as well as reporting when students get involved with Chicago Talks. Once it was a standalone experiment, now Chicago Talks is a part of many of our journalism classes and integrated into our curriculum. Enterprising students uh, can use it to create a custom web page for their portfolio of the stories that they've done about Chicago neighborhood and Chicago communities. There's a couple of simple rules, no nudity, no profanity, no personal attacks, no attacks on race or sexual orientation or national origin. We want you to do your own work. Good stories focus on Chicago or a community of interest. Tell us the who, what, when, where, why, and maybe the how of your story. Include at least one photo with a caption. It's an online publication, so you have to link to people, places, and things that you have in your story. Show, don't tell. Use your real name. We don't have anonymous posting. You can increase your reach and reputation if you link to a video or audio, if you add tags so search engines know um, about your story, and if you use a keyword in your headline to help Google find your story among all the other stories online. So, register, log in, write. You can check out how to do that in another short video. Thanks for watching.